I want to talk to the kids. This is a trans person. Jeffrey Marsh. You blurred my face. Like your dad not being able to understand you and being violent with you, maybe? <sighs> He's making a video about how this all stems from dad right after I do a video where I'm in a therapy session talking about trauma from my dad. I forgot you existed until you decided to try to turn my ass back on me, but it's not gonna work. Stop encouraging kids to chat with you privately, creep. Not today, Satan. Of all the demons and diddlers, that we cover on this channel as well as my podcast channel there are a few standouts right there are a few that just how is that a real person jeffrey marsh the non-binary tiktoker is definitely one of them you know he's definitely giving that gay demon from powerpuff girls it's giving the terrifier hi kids hi kids Hey kids! Hi kids! Hey kids! <laughs> hey kids! I want to talk to the kids. And I have dragged Jeffrey Martian before, and so he has every right to attempt to drag me back. Y'all have been tweeting me in the comments saying that he did make a video about me, and we're gonna watch it live together. I have seen a bit of what you guys have said about it, and it's apparently ridiculous. Before we dive into what this kid-obsessed gender goblin has to say about me, let's just recap what he's done. The non-binary TikToker makes a living off encouraging children on his TikTok to go no contact, specifically making videos addressing children as if there's ever a legitimate reason for an adult to even want to address children. You don't mean to be really addressing kids for any reason, right? Because you're grown. He's very obsessive with addressing children and then redirecting his audience to his Patreon where he makes videos about sex and other topics as well, but just not the kind of topics that children should be, you know, exposed to. That's why I made a Patreon so that we could talk about it, so that we could connect in a way that has more privacy, so that we could talk to each other in a way that's a, uh, more open and stuff that we wouldn't share like in the comments of a video like this i think you're worthy and valuable and i wanted to spend more connected time with you even the topics on his tiktok are highly inappropriate for kids there's no such thing as a boy or a girl here are three reasons why sex is difficult for you i'm jeffrey and i am not a danger to children I am a danger to parents, though. And it seems that he has some allies or, you know, commie comrades at TikTok because anyone who seems to speak against him gets their account deleted. You know, they get struck for harassment and bullying. This nice woman that made headlines, she was doxxed just for trying to highlight that he was grooming kids, right? So I don't even know what Mr. Jeffrey Martian could possibly have to say about me, right? But right off the bat, I do have to say I have an issue with a demon even addressing me. This is a trans person. Jeffrey Marsh, you blurred my face. As if my face is the kind of face that should ever be blurred, first of all. Second of all, who watching this doesn't know exactly who this is? I mean, who are you fooling? <laughs> Kids, I guess, right? With the lipstick and the pink dress and the hairy chest and just looking disgusting. He's abusing kids. This is my message to Jeffrey Mark. And did I lie? Because telling little boys they are not little boys, telling little girls they are not little girls, saying cut off contact with your parents, that's quite abusive. That's quite demented. And I am so sorry you actually got called out by it and by a trans person. <laughs> Because apparently I'm supposed to have some blind loyalty to you because what? The lipstick in combination with the hairy chest? Like what exactly, <laughs> what exactly is supposed to make us allies in that situation? And what exactly does me being trans have to do with it at all? Everyone thinks you're quite nasty. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> This happens to be a trans person who makes her living coming after other trans people, including myself. You're not trans. I'll say it again. I think you're the one that said that I was erasing um, you as trans. I, I am. Like, you're not trans. Like Lipstick and an exposed hairy chest does not make you trans. It certainly doesn't give you authority to teach children about trans. Stop telling trans people that we're inspirational. 
And do I make a living bashing trans people or do I make a living calling out bad behavior, including yours, calling out abusive behavior, predatory behavior, including yours? I know that's, you know, the worst thing that could happen to you is someone just accurately clocking what the fuck you're doing. But hi, I see it. I see it. A lot of people see it. And the attempt to shame what I do for a living, not quite hitting considering I would so much rather do that than what you do for a living which is talk to the kids. But you know what? If your lane is so much more honorable, let me step into it really quick. I want to talk to the kids as well. Stay away from this man. Stay away from this man. Stranger danger. And I actually don't mind it. And I don't mind it for a few reasons. Um, I'm committed to the idea that trans folks should be able to speak their mind. And if this is what is on her mind, she should speak it. But also I assume it's coming out of trauma. Is it coming out of trauma or is it just being an adult who can spot an adult's games better than the kids who are watching them, just accurately clocking what is going on? But you know what? I guess in a way it is out of trauma, right? Because my own trauma that I went through as a kid definitely, you know, gives me a keener eye to seeing y'all in the wild, right? Definitely enables me to see what you really are maybe clearer than other people, maybe clearer than other trans people who, thank God, have not experienced some certain traumas that I've experienced. However, because I have, I see you. That demonic aura around you, the intentions behind your words. Hey, kids, I see that. Hey, kids. <laughs> Terrifier, him. Come with me and show I see it. LGBTQ people attacking other LGBTQ people is probably coming out of feeling bullied, othered, traumatized, not wanting to upset dad. Wow. Wow. LGBTQ people. So again, invoking this, you know, fake ass <laughs> alliance that we're supposed to have simply because you're LGBTQ. Are you? I literally see just a creepy dude. Let me tell you something about LGBTQ, right? It's about trans rights. This is only going in one direction. You will respect us. And the idea that that is just inherently LGBTQ because you're a creepy dude, I don't really, I don't know. The idea that your behavior should not be called out because I happen to be trans is quite disgusting, quite demeaning. And if I just have to go there, it's actually quite transphobic, right? Can't have my own mind, right? Has to be a really nefarious, troubled, dark reason why I would dare to call you out. No. And I hate to be this person, but the more I'm kind of digesting what this demon just said, what are the odds that he's responding to at this point a clip that is like a year old of me dragging him on my podcast and now he's making a video about how this all stems from dad right after i do a video where i'm in a therapy session talking about trauma from my dad again using that trauma using that abuse and trying to spin it backwards as the reason i'm being attacked by this person is because trauma from her dad But that's what abusers do. They look for weaknesses in people. And until that moment, you never saw one. And it's not a weakness, bitch. it's a strength. What I've been through is a strength. What I've been through gives me a special lens to see freaks like you. This man didn't have one word in response to me for over a year until I posted a video talking about my trauma from my dad. I don't want to I promise I'm not trying to play the victim because I wasn't even in that video and I promise I'm not trying to connect things that shouldn't be connected, but that just seems a bit suspect. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would he have made this video trying to diagnose me? Oh, the therapist, you're a therapist now. Because to try to spin some shit back on someone after you hear that they may or may not have went through something traumatic as a child, that's disgusting. Not wanting other people like us to confuse the- Who is us? You commie ass bitch, who is us? 
Who is we? Who is us? I'm me. You're you. Thank God. We are separate entities. There are no acronyms, letters, rainbows, fun colors that connect us. I will never be connected to a demon like you. This is why I waited a long time to do that video and I wanted to do it under the right circumstances because I knew it would be turned back to attack me. That's just the name of the game. Public figure. Use anything and everything against me. I don't care. And you know what? Every time that I have criticized you, attacked you, dragged you for all the creepy stuff you do with kids on the internet, right? I could have very easily attempted to diagnose you and maybe made an assumption about what you've been through. But even as like vomitous as I believe you are, that still is a bit beneath even my character to be like, well, maybe Jeffrey Marsh went through trauma as a child. Although it's quite possible, right? Because that's that abuse cycle. Not wanting other people like us to confuse the straights. I think you're more making the straights throw up. I mean, you're making me throw up. It's actually about trying to show the world straight or not that there are people within this community, specifically trans people, that are willing to differentiate ourselves from people like you. From weirdos who have proclivities for kids. The fact that that's even an accurate statement. Imagine, being, imagine someone being able to say about you that you have a proclivity for kids. That is just an objective fact. Your target audience is kids. Whether you're trying to target them to indoctrinate them on some bullshit and misinformation about what gender and trans is, as if you have any authority, you're a man with a beard and lipstick, 99 cent lipstick. There's nothing about you that gives you any authority to talk about trans anything to anyone. And therefore, it feels like a life and death issue, like your dad not being able to understand you and being violent with you, maybe. <sighs> yeah, he watched my video. The way he's saying it, being violent with you, maybe? You are the worst kind of person, Jeffrey Marsh. And this attempt to try to gaslight me and other LGBTQ people that may have an issue with you, which should be all of them, right? Should be every single one of them. Um, you know, unfortunately, you can't do that to me because I'm not a kid. Because I'm not a child. So I know what the fuck you're doing. Imagine seeing someone talk about being physically abused by their dad. And you're like, this is my moment. I'm going to get her. Again, predator. Predator just for that, right? Like just for that. For scoping the scene out, trying to find a weakness, and then trying to attack. And failing so miserably, I mean, you're flopping. The fact that he is accustomed to identifying soft spots in people and using them to attack is exactly the problem. It's exactly the problem. Or society not getting you, society not getting us. Who is us? Who is us? Now I'm really being misgendered. This us and we pronoun, that's misgendering me. And that's quite offensive. We're not a fucking collective. We're not a group. We're not allies. We're not friends. And this is exactly how the LGBT community has been infiltrated by predators because they use this tactic against us. The LGBT community as a means for survival has grown accustomed to collectivism because back in the day, it was a group effort to fight for certain rights, right? And that's still ingrained in the history and almost like DNA of gay people, trans people, whatever, this collectiveness, right? So people like him see that and see a shield. They see a shield. They see that they can act creepy, act predatory, and all the slings and arrows that come, they're hitting the LGBTQ. All the slings and arrows that are coming, towards his predatory behavior, he's like, oh no, trans, gay, lesbian, bisexual, that's in front of it, it hits those. It's like a rat scurrying for cover. And this is one of the things that I beg the LGBT community to kind of wake up to, that these people are smart, they are shapeshifters, they are adapters. Stop encouraging kids to chat with you privately on your Patreon and not tell their parents, you f***ing creep. Well, one of us will need to choose de-escalation. One of us will need to choose kindness and peace at some point, and I'm happy for it to be me. He's certainly not rich and powerful enough, so he, Hollywood can't be his cover. He can't be, you know, a Dan Schneider, a Harvey Weinstein. It's the gay community. And this brainwashing of us and we 
that you're attempting to manipulate with me. Again, I'm not a child, so you can't manipulate me. Sorry. Maybe head back to your target audience. When people call out predators within the LGBT community, you are doing humanity, really, a disservice when you say, oh, it's just because they're being homophobic. It's just because they're being transphobic. Nothing about this person and the reasons why I find him so revolting, disgusting, and predatory. It has nothing to do with the fact that he calls himself non-binary. I mean, that's quite obnoxious, right? And that's obviously part of that cover, too. Because if you're just a man, people associate man with predator. Not so much gay or non-binary, right? And then that's that shield. Putting your safety at risk. I understand all those feelings. I've felt all those feelings. Oh, by the way, it's still wrong to tell other trans people how to express. You're not trans. At all. At all. It's very telling how he's been called out by a lot of people in the LGBT community. A lot of them. Jeffrey puts out false information about what it means to be a trans person. Because I'm a lesbian and because I think Jeffrey is just insanely creepy. You are aware that trans people criticize you too. If not the most, because you're making us all look really bad and you're appropriating our identity. A lot of gay people, gay conservatives, a lot of trans people, a lot of just like people who see predators and have an issue with it when they see it, right, have called it out. I'm the one person a year ago that he now responds to that he find he, he he got something on right oh she's been abused to try to salvage followers you have that maybe could be brainwashed back into thinking that you're somehow the good person but you're definitely not you're definitely a demon you're definitely fighting for darkness and hurt and pain and you're part of that cycle so you're trying to drag me into some sort of collective that honey no, 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 no. I felt that way too. You and I have nothing in common. Nothing in common. And it's not just because I'm wearing Chanel lipstick and you're wearing Dollar Tree lipstick. It's actually more because of our values, our worldview, not our gender. None of it. What I got in common with a roach. And people get so mad when I talk about groomers and they think that I'm joining in on some sort of discourse that paints all people within, you know, the rainbow community as groomers. No, quite the opposite, actually. I'm trying to say that, unfortunately, due to the LGBT community's togetherness, for better or for worse, right? We tend to stick together. Not me, really. Y'all kicked me out. That's fine. But there's a togetherness. There is a protection that people don't want to be cruel to that community. There's a social taboo against being homophobic, transphobic, whatever. So if you can hide behind that and do your dirt behind that, you become not criticizable. You become immune to people calling you out because people are going to assume oh people are just calling him out because he's non-binary that's all no 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 not at all and i really want you guys to think about how often do you see a headline about someone being outed as a predator or doing some shady at best and highly abusive and disgusting things regarding children at worst right and they look completely normal. They look like someone often an upstanding citizen, often working, you know, supposedly in the interest of kids, social workers, teachers, like, you know, people, people think they're good parents, people think that they're good people. So just question, if it so often doesn't look like a predator from the outside, what does it mean when someone really does kind of look like a predator? Hi, I wanted to tell you a little teeny story. Your parents screwed up. <laughs> Not saying it's always an indication, but behavior in my mind. For me, it's like if your behavior lines up with it, there really is no grace to be given. Because when it so often is, despite not looking like it, when it looks like it in my mind, it's a way safer bet to just say, okay, that's what it is. And has Jeffrey Marsh been convicted of any crimes? Not to my knowledge. That doesn't seem to be something that's happened, but neither are many people. Dan Schneider, I don't know if y'all saw the Nickelodeon doc. I'm going to talk about it on my podcast, the next episode of the podcast. He didn't go to jail. So in my mind, when it looks like it, it just is. And that's a safe bet for me because if you're doing weird shit with kids on the outside, imagine what's going on on the inside of your demented, disgusting, demonic mind. And you got yourself another video, which there wasn't going to be a video about you. I forgot you existed until you decided to try to turn my abuse back on me, but it's not going to work. This was just a pitiful response. I would have hoped you came better, Jeffrey Marsh. This was just pitiful. Follow me on X and Instagram. Subscribe to this channel as well as my podcast channel. And I'll see you in the next video, which fortunately for everyone will not include this face.